never getting chicken pies. Like going to carriage when you say it's Of Larry Kelly. Um, people too often only say nice things about people after they've passed. And uh, so I, I want to say in front of everybody something that I said very many times when, uh, when Larry was alive, and that was that he was the finest man I knew. Uh, I want to say that to the girls too. Your daddy was the finest man I knew. Um, he, he taught me an enormous amount about the, uh, the, the power of having a vision and the power of sticking to it, even if it takes years or decades. Um, there's very few people that, uh, that, that, that had the determination that, that Larry does. Um, maybe none that I know. And I've tried in my own very modest way to, uh, to honor that. So that's what I wanted to say in front of, in front of everybody. Does uh, anybody else have anything they want to say about Larry in front of his daughters? My name is Irv Rhodes, and uh, when I first met Larry, um, I stumbled into his uh, place exercise uh, in South Amherst, and uh, that's how I uh, first uh, got to know him. And then over the years, as I uh, became more involved in uh, Amherst politics and um, and, and, and the social and political life of Amherst, Larry and I would have all kinds of conversations. Um, my favorite memory well, is that uh, of F-16s flying down on, um, on um, Main Street and, on, and, and Pleasant here uh, on, on the uh, 4th of July. Larry made that happen. And I thought it was uh, incredibly, an incredible achievement. Uh, because other people were, were outraged by it. And I'm sitting there in the middle of town, town thinking, my God, it's outstanding. <laughs> anyway, it's good. <laughs> Hi, I'm John Edwards, and, and I think your dad, Larry Kelly, did such a service for the community. Uh, his shoes will never be filled. It was amazing. And anything ever went on in town, if you looked at his blog and you didn't see anything, many people would say, Larry, what's with such and such? And often he'd say, I have no idea, or I'm in route, check it out, and as soon as I learn something, I'll share it. And it's just incredible how your dad was on top of things way before the other media sources were, the newspaper, or the TV stations. And he just did a wonderful job. His commitment to the town and what he revealed, and he really kept town hall and their toes constantly. Uh, it was just remarkable, and I think it was rather unrewarded as well, yet he continued to do it. Um, and just on a humorous note, uh, every now and then he could be a little rough around the edges. <laughs> no. <laughs> he had given me his cell phone number years ago, so often I would text him and I'd say, hey Larry, how about just a little glass of bedside manner? And he would often write back with a little frown face and say, okay. I think your dad is a great fellow. I uh, got to know Larry as a part-time Tommy person. Those who are very committed to this town and that was two temples. And uh, his seat, as far as I'm concerned, will always be there in the front row. I will always see him there there. I've just done my travels. He always brings me back to talk about different issues um, and just listen to it. You know, we're supposed to direct our conversation to the moderator, but he sometimes will turn around and direct it to all of us. You know, I can't just turn back to my mind. He was a very dedicated person. That road. He shows up. And uh, you know, and he's right. He's close to, to the truck. He's in the way. I'm like, Larry, Jesus! I told you. Yeah, yeah. He said, Yeah, but I've got my drone drone here, and I can get up over over the top of the roof. Really? Come here! Come here! Come here. <laughs> Show me. Yeah. So yeah, and it it, it helped. It helped. Helped. It helped a lot. You got you got the drone in a spot that we couldn't see. 
and we, we had to we move we move the truck, truck trucks around and move move our water streams around to uh, to hit hit the, hit, hit the spot that we could could couldn't see. But it was funny because at first I was ready to throw throw <laughs> throw, throw them out. He said, "Yeah, but I've got this hole." Oh, I love you, come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. He really was. And then it was the time he got his drone stuck in the tree. <laughs> Had a fire, fire scene, and we may have gotten it out of him. <laughs> so, Chris, everybody's sharing. If, um, anything you want to share with Jada and Akira before we start telling them about these awesome pictures? So, we're around to you. I'm a, I'm a local attorney um, at a number of years ago, I was a uh, work for the firm of the town council for the town of Amherst, and Larry would occasionally call me up to find out what was going on with, with legal aspects of what was happening in town government, and that sort of continued. I was sort of maybe his behind-the-scenes legal advisor on a lot of municipal <laughs> issues. Um, just to clarify, he's, every once in a while he'd get get off on a tangent and, and, and kind of miss a point, and I'd sort of send him a quick email and say, "Larry, call me. Let's talk about." Know, what this really does mean, and, and that. But, uh, I miss him a lot. So, um, Derek, I guess, are you guys ready? We'll uncover these pictures for everybody. Yeah. 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 Yeah.